With all the stuff that's going on with coronavirus, all the plans that I had to go traveling have completely fallen through at this point. Hours before I was supposed to fly with my girlfriend down to Peru, we saw the news that the president of Peru shut down the country, as have most countries around the world thanks to the coronavirus. I was having hopes that I would be already posting great travel content on this YouTube channel, and at this point, I'm kind of at a loss at what to do. And I've been thinking about it for a while, and I decided that in the meantime, while we're waiting for borders to open back up, for the coronavirus to calm back down, I thought I'd just go into a little bit more depth on my travel kit, because what else am I gonna talk about? One of my favorite products that I picked up for my next trip are these Nomadics travel towels. These towels are super, super, light. They're like the Rolls Royce of travel towels. They're nice. They're the feeling of the towel. Like this feels like real, real fabric. Uh, I don't know if you're, you've been on traveling experiences where you've brought a travel towel with you. Usually they're like these really kind of scratchy, uh, like microfiber towels. These feel a lot better. Like this feels like a real towel. And when you use it, like when you you jump in the water and you come back and you, you want to dry off and towel off. Like, this feels like you're using a real towel. It doesn't feel like you're using a sham wow to dry off your entire body. Nomadics, they do lots of designs. Like, they come out with new designs probably every two to three months. And you know, I've kind of gotten hooked on some of their designs. So I originally, I started with this one here, which is kind of looks like a, like a beach club towel like if you were at a like a high-end beach club this is this would be the sort of towel that they would give you and then in their latest designs they had this design that it kind of looks like a boat deck and that's what really kind of grabbed my attention I'm a, a, a boater advocate my family boats so this just seemed like a really cool design. I picked it up. I can't wait to use this on future travel. Now, I wanna talk about a couple of the, the features of these pneumatic towels. And it's kind of weird to talk about features for a towel. I mean, how many, how many features can a, a cut of fabric have? But th there are some features to these towels. First off is the, the length of this towel. It's, it's pretty long, longer than I can really show in this, this video. But the, the length of this towel is I believe like the same exact cut as a yoga mat, which basically allows this to double as like a super minimalist ultralight yoga mat, or if you're in a fitness, it makes out for kind of a good a fitness workout space, especially if it's like a like a concrete floor. Like it's just it's not gonna give you a ton of padding, but it's it's enough to to help take off the edge. And I mean you could definitely use this to to pull yourself up and do some pull-ups or whatnot. As a, as a makeshift uh, pull-up bar, rope bar, if you will. It's got a nice little sewn-in hanger tag, so you could just hang this up for, for quick drying. This does dry super quick. The While it collects moisture, because it's made out of recycled bottles, another great reason to buy this, you're recycling and helping to save the planet. While it does absorb water really well, it's also quick drying. This dries as quick as any other travel towel. I mean, I have seen towels that dry faster than this, but the ones that do dry faster, I've never really enjoyed using. This one is just, again, I can't say enough how this material on the Nomadics towels just feels so much better than all the other travel towels out there that I've used. Now, if you're a minimalist packer, maybe it's a bit of a luxury for you. It's not the lightest travel towel I've ever used. This thing weighs in at about 17 ounces. Uh, it's it's that many grams. Th that's definitely not the lightest travel towel. I mean, it's it's got a little more weightiness to it than a typical travel towel, but I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing if you're willing to carry around a few extra ounces of weight. I mean, I don't I don't mind the weight of this towel. I I wouldn't carry around multiples of it for sure, but I mean, who's carrying around? multiples of travel towels anyway. Uh, it's it's still packing up pretty compact, not as compact again as a lot of other travel towels out there, but it's it's close. The little bit of extra bulk here I don't think is significant to really impact anyone on on their travels because 
the big thing about a, a towel is it packs flat. And most people, they have space in their bag for, for flat pack items, like... All right, so... So this is my bag here. This is the, the Peak Design Travel Backpack. I used to travel with the PackSafe, uh, the PackSafe VentureSafe EXP45, but I've switched to this Peak Design bag for now. We'll see how that goes. This bag here, it's mostly just a large open section. And when you have kind of bulky items, like this is my rain jacket. Here I have a rain cover, some camera accessories, like these things, they're three dimensional. They take up some space here in the bag, but all of these items that I'm talking about, while they take up a lot of this sort of length width space in the bag, they don't take up too much height space. And so if you can get a fair number of packed flat items, like your travel towel, they can lay in on top, over top of all your other more bulky baggier type items. And that's unused space. It's dead space in your bag that you can take advantage of. So yes, while this towel, if you, if you really try to pack it up and fold it up and compact it, like it's going to be bulkier than other travel towels. If you'll just lay your travel towel out flat, the difference between this and any other travel towel is really insignificant. So dollar for dollar, I think this is probably the best bet travel towel that I have come across. I do an annoying amount of research on stupid stuff like this before I buy it. I've probably researched 10 to 15 different travel towel manufacturers. And after testing some of them, returning some of them, this is the one that I've settled on. This is the one that I like the most. It's the Nomadics Travel Towel. They have all sorts of designs, I'm telling you. You need to get yourself one and try it out. Or, or don't, I mean, you don't have to take my advice, but I'm gonna talk about the products that I like, the products that I bought for my next upcoming trip. And hopefully for those of you who are planning on doing some traveling as soon as this whole coronavirus thing calms down and eases away, uh, hopefully this gives you some inspiration or some ideas on gear to pick up for your next adventure. All right, guys, thanks for watching this. I really am just super bored at home with this coronavirus. This is day uh, 10 of a, a self-imposed isolation. I haven't been exposed to my knowledge on a coronavirus. I don't think I've been exposed, um, but just like everyone, I'm trying to stay home and trying to stay sane while doing it. So thanks again for watching. Hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one.